<clears throat> What's up, everybody? Okay, I know it's been a minute since I did a video um, on camera. It's me on camera and all that stuff. But today I'm going to be reviewing these caramel, uh, Quaker caramel rice crisps. Crisps. Can I see them? Um, so I bought these for my job a long time ago. And basically, I want to know because um, I haven't really had the rice cakes since I was a kid. So I want to know what the difference was between these and the um, rice cakes. So I'm like, didn't rice Quaker make a rice product? Don't they already have that? So I'm just kind of confused. So now I've already opened the bag and had a few, so this is not going to be a live reaction. But I just want to review them as I'm eating them on camera, if you will. Um, so it's still the Quaker brand, or Mara. Uh, let's see here, 10 grams of whole grain per serving, even though it doesn't have that much fiber. Um, no artificial flavors, gluten-free, caramel flavor with other natural flavors, against what they look like. Um, also, I'm on my webcam on my laptop, so if it looks different, then yeah. I kind of like the setup, though, because it's hands-free. I got to hold the camera and have limited angles I can pick. Everything is all right here. But anyway, uh, there is, let's see here, three and a half servings in this bag. Uh, serving size, 16 pieces is 110 calories. Um, I've ate probably three, so I'm trying to eat that much if I am already. Um, this is a, oh wow, this is a 3.5 two ounce bag. Not four. Not three and a half, 3.52. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to try these and give you guys my honest reaction. Um, so far, they're good. Um, if I remember correctly from back in the day, when I was a kid, because I think that's the last time I actually had a rice cake, um, they came in a little stack, like the little bread loaf stack thing or whatever. That's literally the last time I had something like that. Um, these are a lot better. Um, show you guys, they're like little miniature, can you say, they're like miniature, yeah, little miniature rice cakes, but they're calling them rice crisps. Um, I looked it up on the internet, so apparently there is a difference between these and the rice cakes. Um, I guess nutritional-wise nutritional for one, and then these two texture-wise, there's a difference between the two. Apparently these are crispy and crunchy. Yes, they are. Hmm. Rice cakes, excuse me. Rice cakes are more, from what I remember, dry and foamy, rubbery. Um, they're a little bit thicker too, I think. In fact, just like I said, this is back in the day when I had a rice cake. And now I don't have a rice cake, obviously, to try side by side. Um. Hmm. They are good though. Um. You get the caramel flavor, the sweetness. You get the texture. These are made with corn and whole grain brown rice, and you definitely get that rice flavor. Like, the first ingredient is whole grain brown rice flour, and the next ingredient is sugar. And a lot of the ingredients on here you can actually, like, pronounce and read and actually recognize. Now, once you get towards the end, there's a like one or two like chemical like ingredients that you wouldn't be able to probably recognize. They tell you what they are in parentheses. Parentheses. Um, so yeah, you definitely get that rice flavor. Like you cook some rice and put sugar in it, which I love, by the way, which I shouldn't, but I love. I'm not gonna lie. Um, these are made. Or sorry, excuse me, my, my bag's kind of crinkly. Distributed by the Quaker Oats Company in Chicago, Illinois. So, Chicago, I mean, Chicago. Quaker makes these, obviously. It's on the back. Um, I want to keep eating them. Oh, and it says, Popped, never fried. Which, I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, 
is that what gives them the different texture? I'm trying to think of what they remind me of. Hmm. They remind me of those caramel dittos. And I think I reviewed them on this channel a while back. Did I? I got them from GFS Court and Food Service. I think that's where I got them from. That I reviewed. Anyway, they have that texture. They're just not in the same. Like, those were in like a ball, kind of like, not a ball, but like a regular, like an extruder shape, if that makes sense. These are flat. But they have that exact same texture. So if you guys are familiar with caramel dittos, um, I can't think of another word that they're called. Um, not dosy -si dos. I don't know what they're called, but they're basically like a little they have the same texture, just in like a little like round kind of cheese curl flavor, if that makes sense. But yeah, these are good. Mm. That texture is everything, and it has flavor to back it up. I know I love my sweets. Um, I was trying to wait to eat, so I ate so much for breakfast. I had, what, like a bowl of sugar cereal. I had, like, four or five Little Debbie Donuts, the pumpkin spice ones. I actually know I had... The tasty cake and the pumpkin spice because I have both of them. Anyway, I had that with the sugar cereal and I had like four vegan sausage patties, which are good by the way. They stunk like hell when I was cooking them, but they were really good. Um, so yeah, I was trying not to eat, but I'm kind of getting hungry because it's been about what, 11, I had about 11 or noon, so it's been about six, five or six hours. And then I took my medication, my diabetic medication after I ate that, so. That's kind of been burnt off, even though I haven't really done anything to burn it off. <laughs> Just being honest. <clears throat> but yeah, so these are really good. Um, I'm not sure. I forget how much I pay for them. The sign says, or the sign, price tag says $2.99. So I can show you guys. Um, is it on the side? There we go. Uh, yeah, $2.99. Uh, these are actually good until November, by the way, and I've had these for a while. Like, I bought them probably a month or two ago and just haven't tried them. Um, but yeah, so if you guys see these in the stores, definitely give them a try if you like rice cakes. Or if you don't like rice cakes, these are a lot better, even though they're the same, basically the same concept. But yeah, the texture is a lot better if you don't like, don't like rice cakes. Um, the caramel flavor, you definitely get the sweetness. To me, it definitely tastes like caramel, like what you'd expect from this type of product. Um, and the sugar isn't that bad. It's only like what, all the other, like maybe 18 grams of sugar. You get 16 pieces. They're definitely, um, I wouldn't say filling, but they're definitely wholesome. Like you're not just like, you know, eat a potato chip and it's gone in like two bites. You got to keep eating and keep eating and it's like full of fat. These only have like one gram of fat, so it's not really like bad for you. There is a lot of carbs, like 25 grams of carbs. So, I mean, it could be worse. The ingredients um, aren't that bad either. If you guys want to pause the video to kind of see the ingredients, I don't know how this is going to upload to YouTube. So, if you guys could look sideways now, just kind of, you know, reverse whatever you want to do. But these are the ingredients. Um, they're not too bad. Um, da -da -da. Yeah, so like I said, the texture, they're not, they're not abrasive. They're just crunchy. But not too crunchy. Not like, you know, hard crunchy. I can feel them. Also, they're not brittle or sticky. So if you're worried about that, don't. If I can chew them with my teeth. I gotta stop myself from eating this whole bag. Or at least I'm trying to stick within the serving size. I'll probably eat like five <laughs> since I've been doing this video. Plus like the three or four that I had before I started filming. But yeah, you guys.
definitely check them out. Um, there's nothing on here that I would see that would be like a allergy for anybody. It says contains milk and soy ingredients, so if that's your allergies, or if you have an allergy to, um, because it says it's gluten free. Um, no artificial preservatives or flavors. Gluten free, no high fructose corn syrup. Don't you guys hate when they say no high fructose corn syrup, but then you look at the ingredients, and it says corn syrup. It's just like it's still corn syrup in here. The hell the fructose high part, like it's still in there. So it's like I don't get it. If you guys know in the comments, let me know what the difference is. I mean, I'm sure there's a difference, but if there's going to be corn syrup in there, period. That's like saying, I don't know, I don't know what to compare it to, honestly. It just sounds stupid and pointless and redundant. But anyway, uh, low cholesterol, no colors from artificial sources. Yeah. A snack the whole family will love with natural flavors. Do not heat in toaster or microwave. I don't think nobody would heat these up. I mean, but okay. Um, or, uh, my, uh, that's pretty much all I can, uh, oh yeah, let me see the ingredients. So, what was I saying? Allergies. Um, I'm going to try to read these just so you guys, because I got, the picture is, I'm sure, pretty blurry. So, number one ingredient, whole grain, or first ingredient, whole grain, brown rice flour. I'm going to take my glasses off so I can read that, even though I can do it either way. Um, whole grain, brown rice flour, sugar, Corn, oh no, I'm sorry, corn grits. So maybe there isn't corn syrup in here. That was corn grits, my bad. Corn maltodrex, maltodextrin, which I think is some type of sugar or whatever, some type of sweetener. So, okay. Sweetened condensed milk, invert sugar, salt, natural flavor, vegetable oil, cooked apple, con cooked apple concentrate, color, okay. Soy, let. That's the thing, let it thin, let, let your, let your backbone slip, I don't know. Uh, purified, almost says saliva. <laughs> I swear that's what I thought that said. Purified stevia leaf extract. And then this one word that probably shouldn't be in here, which is a preservative. To, toka fur, to, furrows. To preserve freshness and spices. So, yeah. Not that much ingredients, so yeah, they're pretty good. Um, like I said, if you guys see them in the store, they're definitely worth trying out. These are the Quaker Caramel Flavor Without Other Natural Flavors Rice Crips. This is, I'm not too good with consonants, so don't, don't judge me. But yeah, they're basically an alternate alternative to or a different variety of rice cakes. So this has been my review for the Caramel Quaker Rice Crips. I will talk to you all in my next video. If you'll see them, give them a try. Peace.